This house is now a litany Things I thought I'd never be Man who has opinions on an ottoman Among other things I used to think I missed the road The crushing fame, the sold out shows I just sing head, shoulders, knees and toes Like I'd forgotten them But I'm alive Baby, I'm thriving Oh yeah, I'm living my best life. I wake up with the sunrise. It does not look a thing like I thought that it would, but I've been getting my steps in, and I sleep with my best friend. It's the best that it has been in a long time. I'm living my best life. We've been driving in a 25 plus miles per hour headwind, at least. That's sustained winds. It's gusting up to 50 to 60 miles an hour. We are right south of Las Vegas now, and um, stopped for our third tank of gas, and not very long we were driving. Pepper went and got some social media posts done at the, at the dog park, and now we're at Terrible's gas station. So if you've ever been to a Bucky's. That's very much like that. It's like 60 pumps and 60 bathrooms and giant place. But Bucky's is still better. And if you've never been to Bucky's, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> so go get you some beaver nuts at Bucky's. I don't even know what. I don't even know what beaver nuggets are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they'll upset your stomach if you're not used to them. For sure. All right, let's go in and check this place out. Sometimes this sucks to tell the truth. And I took it hard like people do. I'm learning how to eat the fruit that is in season. Never thought I'd be a grown-ass man. Do you know what they say are best laid plans? Now I'm holding on to my... What did you find? Sushi. <laughs> Sushi candy? Yeah. And like a whole burger. Found you a poker chip. Did I win? You can create everything. Our neighbor at the Terribles had empty Windex bottles, dipping them in the window cleaner bucket and getting some free <laughs> window cleaner. I said, never in my life would I have even considered doing that. No, me either. But you might next time though. No, because it's not real Windex. <laughs> I've got a reason to be alive. Oh yeah. baby, I'm thriving. Adventures. Blair and I are currently in Palm Desert or near Palm Desert at the Sky Valley RV Resort and Spa. Spa. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a hot tub. 
so this is like a gated community, retirement community. I don't really know, but there's little tiny houses or it's like small mobile homes scattered throughout. And there's a bunch of open spots for RVs to come in here. I am thoroughly impressed. Yeah, it's nice. It's, they got a, it's a little windy, but they can't control that. No, we're not far from a very big wind farm. Yeah. They have a wonderful calendar chocked full of activities mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. And we passed by the horseshoe tournament this morning. Yeah. We're doing some laundry and hanging out in the various hot tubs. It's all mineral pool hot tubs. Yep. And there's various temperatures. So we're about to go. Hot. Yeah. We are about to go get in some cold water. We are going to stay here in the blazing hot water. In the lobster pot. Yeah, we're in the lobster pot. Because <laughs> it's super hot. It's good. It's too hot for me. We're here for about four days hanging out with the Morgans and the Saritz parked next to us. We had dinner with them last night and wonderful laughter and fun. So we were looking forward to another couple of days hanging out with those awesome humans and their shiny objects and their awesome pups. A long time. It's the best that it had been for a long time. I'm living my best life. Hey, hey, hey. Living How are you doing? What are you doing, Blair? Yep. Some math. Some are you into the spreadsheets again? Spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, but I'm fixing my spreadsheet. Is this your hiking spreadsheet? Yeah. How many miles and how many pounds? How many? Uh, just miles on this one. Okay. But you have another spreadsheet? <laughs> sure do. <laughs> we're embarking upon a journey next summer, so we're planning the miles and the weight. Well, Blair's planning. I'm just walking along, too. Along for the ride. Yeah. Do you do you participate? Do I do participate? Do I participate? I do not. No, no, no. But this is a cool change pouch. <laughs> <laughs> there is an elephant in the room. We need to talk about it. Guess what they're called? What? Just guess. Instead of GI Joes, what are they? Just look and guess. Yoga Joe. Yoga Joe. Yeah. I wonder what she would think today. You know? Damn, I look good. I hope she. I hope she would think that. But, wow, there's little humans under my legs. Just, just, <laughs> Is it? It's, I don't know. I don't know what to think. It's a. It's a beautiful statue. Wicked, wicked, wicked. But also, it's like very 
a very risque for the times that it was, you know? It's interesting. This house is now a litany Things I thought I'd never be Man who has opinions on an ottoman Among other things I used to think I missed the road The crushing fame, the sold out shows I just sing head, shoulders, knees and toes Like I'd forgotten them But I'm alive Baby, I'm thriving Oh yeah I'm living my best life I wake up with the sunrise It does not look a thing like I thought that it hey. The rock piles began underground eons ago as a result of volcanic activity back then in this case. Sometimes this sucks to tell the truth and I took it hard like people do but I'm learning how to eat the fruit is in season Never thought I'd be a grown ass man but you know what they say the best laid plans Now I'm holding on to my daughter's hand I've got a reason to be What? Bruce has gone missing He has Poor Bruce <laughs> So these rocks on the road look very smooth, but up close they are not. Not at all. They would hurt if you fell against them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get too far off of here. Life, I wake up with the Oh look, there's a sign. <laughs> you got distracted by the cat. I got distracted by the cat. Although we did go wander some jumbo rocks. Yeah. That was cool. Has anybody seen Skull Rock? It took me a while to find it. We were wandering around with like eight other people. Like, do you know where it's at? No. Do you know where it's at? No. <laughs> but we we all got distracted because there's a lost cat sign. <laughs> at the bottom and the, the young girl's birthday was on the same day the cat got lost and Blair was feeling sorry for the cat but right above it it says Skull Rock right there and it's literally like 20 feet away right there we walked for a long time and there was a sign that said one point or point one four miles I'm like Blair we have gone way further than point one four miles <laughs> but we got some bouldering done and yeah some good. laughs done and yeah We've seen Skull Rock, we finally, on our way back. On the but way back. It's, no kidding, 50 feet from the road. Yeah. But I wonder you how can we... see from here up from yeah. the road. Yeah. So like... It's like Piper looking over the bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks, it's cool though. Joshua Tree. That's a neat place. It is a neat place. It's like a... All these parks have like alien landscapes. Yeah, it's very bizarre. The, the the Joshua trees themselves are very bizarre. Yeah. They don't even have rings. You can't even count their rings. How do they measure the oh, age? They uh they have an average growth of one point five inches per year, so they divide their um height. height. Yeah. Anywhere from up to like forty something feet. So quite a while. Yeah. It's a neat mm. desert park. That it is. And it's cold with the wind. And these rocks look like a Disney movie. Yeah, a Disney movie or like a, a Disney ride. Yeah. Like the fake rock you see when you're going into like a yeah a, a line for a ride. Yeah. yeah, they look just like that. And they look very smooth from far away. But it's like crushed seashell when you touch it. I'm living my best life. Yeah, living my best life. Yeah. 
I don't know I'd find you over here in this section. I was using the restroom, but I just happened to walk by all the camping stuff. Have you seen this before? Yeah. It's a thermorass pillow that like compresses. I thought it might be something. I mean, I like the one that you have, but you know, cool. So we've been touring around Marine Corps base. Uh, I should say Marine Corps combat training center, 29 Palms, California, which is right up against Joshua Tree National Park. What do you think of the base, Blair? I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. It's an oasis in the desert. It is in the middle of the Picked up a few things from the base exchange and the commissary. Now we're about to have some road snacks like we always do. Blair's going to be the preparer. I'm going to be the consumer. <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, me and Piper are going to be the consumers. Oh yeah, that's right. We got about an hour trek back to the airstream and hang up for the night. I'm going to go ride on the stagecoach. Not even one shock absorber. Not a, not a one. South Africa. 5,590 miles away. Cape Town might be the furthest. Let's see. Sydney, Australia. 7,591 miles. Just a little bit that way. Waking up with the sunrise, looking at the You like my you like my, you like my suction cup shoes? Why not? Everyone else does too. These are my crocs that I've had for about ten years. And the sun has shrank them to the point where my feet squeak. And it's hilarious. The actual hell, but I've been counting my blessings. Now I sleep with my best friend. It's the best that it has been for a long time. It's the best that it has been for a long time. I'm living my best life. Camping here beside us are our very good friends, Chad and Nia. They are in a 27 FB Flying Cloud, and Roger and Andrea, they're in a 25 FB Globetrotter. Let's go check their rigs out. Hello, friends. Hi, Hi friends. <laughs> how are y'all? Good, how are you? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can take a look. I mean, it's a pretty small bathroom. Yeah, it is. So you kind of have to sit sideways a little bit, and it's not the most common. Well, I got the flagpole from them, flagpolebuddy.com. They also make that adapter at the very top, which hooks the satellite to the pole. All right, so Roger? Yeah. Uh, and Andrea? Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you guys have a 25-foot globe trotter here. What's your Airstream experience prior to this one? Who did this? I did. Sweet. So let me tell you this. It's a little nerve-wracking drilling through this. How have you liked the twins? Yeah. yeah, so that was a big change for me, and I was worried about it. I actually do love to sleep with my husband. What is happening here? Hi. Uh, we're making... Chick-fil-A chicken again. Oh, yeah. 